Um, so detectives have uncovered a name for this woman? Yes, um, we have identified the, um, the person. Um, now, we won't be releasing the name at this stage pending um, satisfaction that we've contacted all the family members. Um, family are presently gathering at the hospital and um, we will have, be having further conversations with them this afternoon. What well, we hope to be in a position to release um, probably tomorrow um, will be an image of the, of, of the woman and um, certainly request um, community assistance um, to allow us to build up her movements um, prior to whatever occurred. Now, what we've established is that um, the woman is, on, is itinerant. She's a 21-year-old woman and uh, normally a resident of Cohen. Um, now, it is possible that she has been with other itinerant persons within the freshwater environment. At the moment, that's, that's an assumption. Um, we would um, be asking anyone in the freshwater Stratford area who, who may have seen anyone gathering um, in, the, in, in that area. Um, probably particularly in the, in the general area of the, of the freshwater connection uh, railway station. There, there may have been someone in that area that night. We have yet to confirm that, but that, at the moment is a possibility. So um, we'd be requesting anyone in the freshwater area who may have noticed anyone to come and see us. Mm. In other cases like this, um, detectives have set up dummies with the clothing of the person at the site, will anything like this be happening? No, well what will be happening um, t tonight and um, certainly we, we last last evening we had, had police in the area just speaking to passerbyers, particularly between about 12 midnight and 3am which is probably the critical time time period. Um, now we will have, we will also be positioning a um, the um, police van um, in this vicinity tomorrow and um, allow people to provide opportunity to um, advise, the, advise us of any information they may have that may, may well be relevant. They will be positioned there tomorrow and certainly we'll be back there again this evening just talking to people who pass uh, at that, this point during, during that pretty critical period between 12 midnight and probably 2 a.m. How are police mm. treating the incident now? Is it um, <coughs> definitely an assault? Oh, look, we, we believe so. Um, the situation remains the same investigationally. Um, effectively, we're, what we need to do is, is um, fill that 36-hour period effectively between, between when she was last seen at 6 p.m. on Sunday, uh, where she was seen in Lyon Street. She left the um, Lyon Street shelter. And um, after that point in time, we have no confirmed movements with respect to her. So presently, we're in the... We have police out um, canvassing the uh, itinerant population of Cairns, who this person did associate with, with a view to um, establishing who she was associating with in that critical period. Have family been able to assist at all as to who could have done this to her? Oh, look, um, it's in the preliminary stages of interviewing the family. Um, yeah, it's, it's in the very, very early stages of, of, of interviewing the family. Um, the family are based in Cullen, and um, this woman has only been in Cairns for the last two months and she didn't really have a specific network of friends. She seemed to, to effectively move between groups. Um, but um, we will probably clarify that over, over the next 24 hours. What's her lifestyle like? Is she homeless? Is, an, is one... Oh, look, she just probably semi-homeless to some degree. Um, she has, has, has an address, but she isn't always there. And she tends to um, be accommodated at shelters overnight and certainly um, does live a, at least a partly itinerant lifestyle and has over the past two months since she arrived in Cairns. Do, yeah. do detectives have any sort of specific hmm. idea of who they're looking for or who's responsible at this stage? No, we don't. Um, you know, we, what we do know is she was the last um, alive and well at the Lion Street shelter at 6 p.m. on Sunday night. Um, now, from that point in time, we have not yet received a confirmed sighting of her. Um, now, we are yet to identify the um, person who alerted the amb ambulance to this woman's plight. Um, we again request that person to come forward. Um, and that's a particular focus of the investigation, just to identify. We, we, we do not believe this person has any involvement 
in uh, in the circumstances. But obviously, what he did see, the sit woman situation, um, what was happening in the environment, may well assist the investigation. So we'd be asking him to come forward. Um, how's the woman doing? The woman's prognosis is very poor. Um, she's not expected to survive this event. Um, but um, obviously remain hopeful. Um, the family are at the hospital now and decisions are being made in regard to that. So she's on life support? She's on life support. How upsetting is this, um, you know, that obviously another human being has caused this on someone? Well, that, that is the inves in investigative assumption. Um, but um, it's, it's, it's regrettable that you know, there, there is a level of violence that does occur within this itinerant lifestyle, particularly when alcohol is involved. Um, and um, alcohol may or may not be involved, but you know, there's, a, there's a level of violence that are, that, that's a consequence of a certain lifestyle. Um, and um, yes, un unfortunately it occurs. And, uh, and yes, this woman has, has apparently been a victim of some violence. Now, if, if, now, whether that is a person known to her whether it was a stranger or a person she was associating with, will have yet to be established. Has yet Do to be established. Do know if she suffered from any mental um, mental issues or? No, we issues? don't believe so. Like she, she's just a young woman who's moved to Cairns from Cohen and has been living an itinerant lifestyle. And yeah. that was about ten months ago. No, approximately about two months. We two believe months. she's been in Cairns. Mm.